so uh, in today's session of the ABAP question answer series let's discuss about the view what is the view and what are the different types of view so the view is nothing but it will fetch the data at the runtime from the different table joining them so we are having the four types of view one is the database view database view is nothing but it will get the data from two or more than two table using the inner join that's the database view then we are having the projection view projection view is nothing but from a same table you are going to fetch some set of fields so from a single table here in the projection view you have only one table in the database view you can have two or more than two table this is the important point maintenance view is similar to the table maintenance generator this is used to maintain the more than one table in one go that's the important point in the maintenance view okay the, uh, someone can ask the question if already tmg is there then why maintenance view we are going to have it so the answer can be in tmg like uh, when we go from the data dictionary under the tmg option we can create only one uh, we can maintain only one database table in one go right but under the maintenance view like uh, more than one database table who is having some foreign key relationship with the another table it helps us to maintain that table so that's the important point over here in the maintenance view so multiple connected together uh, connected table together uh, can be maintained with the help of maintenance view right this part we have seen in our practical example also under the app course so here what is this help view so this help view is going to help uh, under the search help like when we create the search help so under the search help we can give over there some database table from where we can get the data uh, we can give some view also over there right so we can mention the database uh, view we can mention over there the projection view as a selection method under the view uh, uh, under the under the search help right uh, we can mention any table over there so here you you can use the inner join when you are going to use the database view the inner join concept can be reused under the projection view there is no problem whatever the uh, fields you want to select that field we can have under the projection view right but what in case if you want to get some full outer join kind of a stuff right so to achieve the like if you want to get a search help in term of full outer join in that case the this help view uh, can be useful okay so this help this this help view is going to help to achieve the outer join on the two tables so it can be uh, i believe i think it's a full outer join here i have little doubt whether it is a full outer join or only left outer join or only right, right outer join but it supports the outer join that need to be checked okay tomorrow i will share this information this help view whether this will support which kind of outer join one thing is sure that it's going to uh, you know achieve the outer join functionality in the search help directly we will not be able to use this help view this help view can be used for the purpose of achieving the outer join on the two table under the search help okay fine so here important point we have written about the view different way of looking into the data from one table or more than one table that's true view is nothing but the semantic meaning of view is also the same right the view does not contain the data physically or permanently this is another important point view shows the data by fetching the data from the different table from the different table 
at a runtime so it uh, depends like it's going to fetch the data from the single table or different table based upon the view so if it is a database table it's going to fetch the data from the different table if it is a projection view it's going to fetch the data from the single table okay so again like if it is also a, a help view in this case also the multiple table is involved under the maintenance view right it depends on you you want to put one table or multiple table right so here you have the flexibility in the maintenance view one or multiple both is possible okay under this database view minimum two table should be there then only the meaning of database view will suffice okay minimum two tables here projection view right only one table only a one table in the projection view from the single table help view here also minimum two table because outer join can be possible only at least if you have the two tables okay so minimum two tables fine now we'll discuss about the difference between table and view so the very first dif difference that it stores the physical data it stores the physical data means the actual data physical data means uh, actual data it stores the actual data and this view it will look like a table but it is not actually table it will behave like a table you can put the select query say, on the view directly but it will not table actually it will fetch the data at runtime from the single or multiple table based on the view type so this is one point another point another point in the table is that because it contains because it contains what it contains the data it will be having this delivery class technical settings and all right delivery class and technical settings right but the view does not contain the data since it doesn't contain the data it doesn't have the you know delivery class right no transport is required delivery class and technical settings right no size category no data class such kind of things is not required because data is not there right so this another difference we can also tell this one one more difference we can write it over here that table is of three types generally right table is of three types here what is that tab uh, table is of table is of three types transparent pool and cluster here the view is of four types in our sap right view is of four types view is of four types so this also you can tell one is the database view just we have seen database view second is the uh, projection view right then help and maintenance third is the maintenance actually and the fourth one is the uh help view right so and these are the four view we are having uh, these are the important differences we are having okay this is the third difference first this is the second and this is the third okay here also maybe we can write first second and third so these are the important differences we are having 
you can also get some more differences right fine so now the another point let's see over here in the data dictionary what are the different data types under the data dictionary which can be defined or created so we are having three types of data types under the data dictionary one is the data element okay these are the user defined data types okay means user can define this data type data element you can define so all these data types is defined based upon the inbuilt data type like character data type integer data type numeric data type so those are the inbuilt data type based upon inbuilt or elementary data type based upon those data type these data element structures and table type can be created or defined right what is data element we know about the data element right we know about the data element that data element contains the semantic information right semantic information in detail we have already discussed in the first session the structure the structure is a nothing but it is uh, like a template right it will the group of field and it is used to create the work area right used to create the work area what is the table type table type is nothing but it will it will decide what kind of data like what kind of line is going to have in a table okay what kind of line type is going to have in a table right so that is the table type table type contains the structure inside this right table type contains the structure inside it right table type uh, contains the structure inside it so this is structure this is structure determines the determines the line type of the table line type means what kind of field it is going to have okay with reference to table type you can define the internal table with reference to with reference to it it means table type with reference to table type we can define the internal table internal table okay so these are some points about this table type okay so directly with reference to directly the table type here with reference to the structure also you can define the internal table right but there you will have to use the type table of correct type table of you have to use to define the internal table here directly you can define using the you know type using the type and every everything you know this uh, this table type is suppose if you have to define some import parameter export parameter in function module in a subroutine in a method then for and if that parameter is internal table we are going to use this table type that is also one important point there you cannot use the structure a structure reference can be used in program only using the type table of that is possible in the program only in the table type that is not possible okay so these are some important differences between this now uh, let's go to another here we are having the uh, search help right here we are having the search help so before going to the search help i will discuss about the type uh, group what is this type group what is this type group and then we will go to the search help let me write it what is type group so in data dictionary one option is also there to create a type group so type group is nothing but you know type group is nothing but nothing but collection of types right collection of group of types collection of types so 
under the types what comes under the types structure comes and table types come right so it is collection of it is collection of types types means table types and the structure okay structures and one more thing constant one extra thing constant is also you can write it over there under the type group we can have the table types structures and constants remember this okay just remember this one remember this point it's important types types means structure types uh, table types I have written already types means table types structures and constants you can have these three over there okay if you see that you know this this all this structure and table types is defined with the help of types so that may be one reason SAP has kept this name type group okay however constants to declare the constants we require the constant keyword okay so one question here can be like what is the important what is the important point about the type group what is the important point about the type group when we create a table type and a structure right what is the important point about the type group when we create a table type and a structure so one important point is over here with respect to name so we have like interviewer may ask the question like this what is the important point about the type group uh, when we create a table type and a structure or co constants anything and constants constants with respect to naming convention actually okay so this is the important whenever you are going to create any type group uh, whenever when when you are going to create uh, any table type a structure and constants in type inside the type group inside the type groups the important point over here is that the naming convention naming convention should be like this so suppose if you are going to create a, uh, a structure so first you will have to give the type group name over here type group name and then underscore this is the prefix you must have to use otherwise it will not allow okay so suppose type group name is you know one standard type group name is sleaze okay so whenever if you go inside the sleaze you will be able to see sleaze underscore the name sleaze underscore so there are different types of types are there every types is going to start with sleaze underscore sleaze underscore sleaze underscore okay so suppose if you have ABC as a type group you have to define ABC underscore everywhere for all the types right similarly if you have to define the table types so again your table types name should be start with so type group and uh, means all this table type structure constants all is should be started with you know all should be started with type underscore group underscore like this so this is the important point okay you'll have to remember now now we have the search help the question over here is what is search help what is search help and what are the different types of search help and what are the different types of search help okay 
so self help is nothing but it helps to populate the value and from there we can select the data so that is the search help and what are the different types of search help in uh, uh, here uh, we are having actually two types of search help here we have written okay so this question should be here actually let me copy it and paste it over here okay so search help is of two types elementary search help and collective search help right collective search help is nothing but the combination of one or more elementary search help and collective search help again okay fine so these are the different types of search help okay where we can assign the search help so there are two places where we can assign the search help this can be also one important interview question where we can assign the search help so your interviewer can ask where we can assign the search help your answer should be at data element level and at table field level at table field level at both the places it is possible to assign the search help we have seen in our course right good you save it so two places we can assign now this is the hierarchy of the search help right this is the hierarchy of the search help hierarchy hierarchy of the search help this is also known as the precedence level of the search help okay precedence level of the search help so what is the precedence level which search uh, which search help takes more priority right so search help can be defined like uh, if you have the value table or fixed table however this value table will not come under this value table you can remove it from here okay value table does not play any role in the search help fixed value fixed value will there at the domain level and that domain is used in some data element right and if that data element has been used in a table correct then then right this fixed value search help i will populate but suppose if you have checked table at the table level then what will get populated which will take the preference check table will take preference if you have at the table level directly this search help applied over there then this search help will take the preference so if all these three is there this search help is going to take the uh, you know preference and here also you can see that you have the search help as two level at the data element level and the field level so this field level search help is going to take the more preference than the data element level so this is the precedence level okay so precedence level uh, hope you were able to understand this concept however we have discussed in detail right what i am trying to say over here so this is the precedence level search help is having the most uh, higher precedence level right in this we are having again like uh, uh, th this is going to have search help at the data element level is having the lower one and this is having the higher one you know and if you talk about the program right if you talk about the program in the program at selection a screen on value request for if you like suppose you have like in the program if you have to define the search help how we define we define the data suppose p underscore matner correct p underscore matner type of matner like that you have given so if this is the case right so at the matner level suppose the search help is assigned then the value will be taken from the search help right search help so suppose if you are not going to do like this you are going to do like car 18 and match code object right match code object with the help of match code object we can define directly the search help for the for this particular field right match code object so if you have some search help over here you can use the match code object to define to assign the search help 
in the program right match code object and here you can give the search help name so it will consider means we are forcing this we are forcing these particular things okay apart so so this is one way another thing at selection a screen on value request for there also right at selection a screen on value request for p underscore match right for going to give this one then in this case what will happen that this is going to have the more priority over this one so here whatever the logic you have written from that it will get the data and it will show you then in that case this match code object is not going to come into the effect okay however it will not give any syntax error or something like that but it will uh, there is no meaning of this because if you have written your search help logic over here at selection screen on value request for right p underscore math error here inside this you have written the logic then then that is going to take into place so that's the thing over here so precedence level is the important just remember this one the highest precedence like if uh, search help is there it will take from search help is uh, uh, in the program if we're going to talk about the program right then this is having if we're not going to talk about the program if we're talking about the table then in the table if the search help is assigned at the field level that is going to have the higher precedence after that at the data element level if at both the places it is not there then it will check for the check table if in the check table it is there it will take from there if in the check table also not there it will go and check from the fixed value so this is if nothing if both these are not there then it will check from fixed value if from the fixed value also it is not there it will not display anything okay the search help will not come okay so tomorrow we'll discuss about the locking concept what is the lock object and the important interview questions related with that fine so what is hierarchy and precedence level good fine then let's stop our session over here and we will meet tomorrow with the new interview questions answer if you have any question please let me know